The radium-223 trial was conducted in two populations. Um, everyone, of course, had to have bone metastatic prostate cancer. Most of the patients, but not all of them, had previously received docetaxel chemotherapy. However, and I think importantly, about 43% of the individuals enrolled in the trial had not received prior chemo, and that's because their physician or the patient themselves made a decision that they did not think that chemotherapy was appropriate. Now, as we look forward in this field, we're looking to alternatives to chemotherapy with a lower toxicity. The field is moving more in the early spaces that are not where chemotherapy is, is typically used, and I think that radium could be one of these discussion points. We need to learn more, we need to understand about the regulatory actions in particular.